Well, hello, Virgo. <laughs> I hope you're doing amazing. We are in April, and I'm going to get started on your reading. I'm going to pull out the cards as I go. Sorry, I had to turn my heater down. I'm going to pull out the cards as I go. Um, no real reason. Just today. That's what we're doing, okay? <laughs> All right. So, Virgo for April. Okay. Addict in the upright, though, helps you recognize and confront ab addictive behavior. Um, mm, you know what's interesting about this, Virgo? I feel like you're paying a lot of attention to yourself. Um, to yourself and the things that you're doing in April. Your habits, your routines, are they helpful? Are they hindering to you? What are they? You know, do I need to change them? Do I need to try something different? Um, am I hanging around one person way too much? Do I need to get more exposure? It's all those type of things. Um, wanting to move, wanting to change jobs, Um uh, you're just taking inventory, I feel. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Okay. So what's interesting about that is, Virgo, once you sort of lean into change, you're not as afraid of it. You're not as scared of change. And you're more eager to see sort of what's out there, what's happening um, it's very interesting because it kind of reminds me of exposure therapy. It's like you're exposing yourself to something that's out of the norm for you and it's becoming easier. You're becoming more flexible. You're seeing things differently. Um, yeah. It's like you're breaking yourselves of habits, good or bad, just to see if it's beneficial or not. You know, it's like you're taking your own inventory. You're doing your own experiments. You have your own hypotheses, you know. <laughs> so let's see. Virgo, April. Okay, we have friends. Family, friends, guides. The garden and the gate. The fourth chakra. Yeah, I feel like you're taking inventory in your life. Um, it's one of those things where you're feeling really good. I'm going to just tell you how it feels. You're feeling good and you like want to win. Like you have this mindset of like, I want to be the best person I can. I want to be on the top of whatever my life is. But it's more based on your happiness than based on like success. Okay. For sure. Um, and you're taking... It's like you're taking things to the edge. I, like I said, it's like an experimental sort of trial and error thing, Virgo, where you're like, okay, so I like to read all the time. I'm using this as an example. <laughs> so I like to read all the time. Let's see what it's like if I change what I read or if I stop reading and go outside more. I feel like you're just experimenting with your life doing things different seeing what works and what doesn't work I just feel like outside of the norm is the most important thing um ooh. so here's the thing um you changing up your routine and you doing things differently um lightens up your energy um, and it makes you stop being so defensive over your emotions and your heart. And I feel like you start to see re uh, relationships and it doesn't necessarily mean boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could be like friendships, family members. It's like you're seeing a relationship clearly for what it is, whether good or bad. Um, for some of you, it really helps the connection 
because you're not putting up so many rules or boundaries that it has a sort of flow to it and you're start and it's starting to um expand or evolve right it's actually good it's not bad um But I feel that energy start to pick up. It's like once you open up the door, it just comes flooding in, you know? So peace pipe. Dragonfly emergence. Ooh, and ancestors generations. Yeah. Your goal in April really is finding peace in life and happiness in life. Seeing that... Um, other people's perspectives matter like not just people that you talk to but other people in the world you know like some people uh have to cover up their feet in the house <laughs> and you're like that doesn't make sense I like to walk barefooted barefoot and then you try it and you're like oh okay it could be anything it's just like you're seeing the other side of things or the other side of the coin and not just the one that you originally had. It's very, your mind is very expansive, which is great for you. Um, uh, taking the route to understand people more instead of passing judgment because they're different or think differently than you. Um, I just feel like you're doing things differently. You may have one friend who always likes to do karaoke when you go out. And you're like, I don't, I can't sing in front of people. I see you like getting up to do that and being like, it's not bad. I mean, it's not for me, but I'll still try it, you know, instead of like knocking things down before it even happens. So, yeah, a very much a flexibility in your train of thought and how you feel about things. Like I said, though, I see the floodgates opening for you in April. The more that you make changes or do things differently, it's like the floodgates start to open and you start to look at things differently or do things differently. Hold on, let me turn this above light. Sorry, I just noticed there was a glare, so I wanted to get that off of there. Okay. <laughs> um, like I said, the floodgates start to open up. And it's positive for you. It's a good experience to have. Um, yeah, you're opening your heart. Basically, you're not blocking things out because that's not what my family do does. That's not what these people do. That's not what Christians do. That's not what... Uh, I do that's not what whatever does it's like you're doing things for you and how you feel about it um it's like breaking down those old walls of sort of what will people think or say you're just doing it because it's for you you know not really any other reason for that it makes you feel good it fulfills you you're realizing like this is your place. This is how you, it was always supposed to be. It's sort of the vibe that I'm getting. Okay, Virgo, April. Okay, we're starting off with six of cups. Four of coins. Eight of swords. Page of wands. Knight of Coins. Oh. Okay. Three of Wands. Ten of Cups. King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. The first thing I see is you've had a way of doing things for quite a long time. And I feel like it is, <laughs> this is going to sound quite crazy, but essentially it's baseless, right? You're just doing it because you've always done it, or this is the way that we do things, or what will people say, or it's cultural, or whatever. Um, but I feel like it feels childish to you, 
to do things like that at this moment. So you're exploring new things, stepping out of the box and changing up your routine or changing up how you do things. And um, moving forward on things you once said, I would never, (laughs) I wouldn't, not me. Um, Like I said, there's an opening to, to explore, to try new things, to see things differently. There just really is an opening for that for you once you sort of follow that route. Um, to be honest, Virgo, I love this energy for you. <laughs> I do. I love it. I feel like it opens you up to the possibilities of just things coming into your life that aren't planned and some and you need that (laughs) nothing's a matter with a little routine yeah see that just flew out which is the page of pentacles so this tells me that something is integrating into your life uh in april that's going to be around for a while which you love um but you need it at the same time i feel like there's a need for it I see some emotional things in here, like the Ten of Cups. And I, I I feel like there's something in the past that you were connected to that you need to change. Look at in a different um, way. Explore. Um, and once you do that, once you open yourself up to that new adventure, like fully, like with excitement, you will be happy. Okay. So it's definitely an idea you had or something you wanted to pursue in the past. Yeah, see? Something you wanted to pursue in the past that you will. Okay, let's get a quick overall and then we'll get into it more and more and more. Yeah, you need to look past yourself. And I feel like that's what April is bringing into you as a space for you to look beyond your typical routines and the things that you do, right? Um, I would say it'll bring some excitement, but really it's here to bring expansion. It's not about your entertainment. (laughs) It's about growth in your life because it's like once you've been stagnant for a little while, things are the same, endless, same old, same old, same old. But there needs to be some sort of change or expansion. And that's what this is bringing into you. Um, it's interesting because there, I feel like there's a lot of things or maybe one thing is spe- specifically Virgo that has been like on your mind, right? I see something has been trapped in your mind and you haven't really created that space for that change out of fear or anxiety or telling yourself something probably from the past that's not how we do things or um if I make a change I might lose something I feel like that's breaking down um so much to a point where you know it's like the more you try to hold on to things the same way and keep that basic routine it's harder to do so I feel like there is no more waiting on something Ooh, yeah, happiness, um, happiness and love and emotion. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to find someone, but I'm saying now that your heart is actually open, okay? I feel like it's just the re- residual in good energy coming off of this um, that you seem more open for love or connection with someone, Um being able to spend time, being able to see someone in a, a a different light, a happier light, um, a more expansive light. What's interesting is it goes from a maybe to a yes, you know, it's like, Hmm, that's interesting. I'll explore that. And the more you explore it and you keep getting happier and happier and happier, the more you're like, this is something that's going to be a part of my life. 
I'm integrating a person or a situation that's going to stay. Uh, and due to all the changes that you're making, it means that you'll have to leave some things behind. This is not sad, right? This is maybe you moving and you have to leave that part of your life behind, but you're gaining something else. Um, this is about following your heart and towards someone that you feel connected to. And maybe your friend doesn't like it. You have to let that friend go. Okay. Um, but, but this is just a change in behavior where you have to leave behind what once was. Okay. But it's not bad. It doesn't, it feels more conflicting with you because you like kind of uh, routine settledness, you know, and you eventually you'll get there in the situation that you're in, but you know, things are changing. Moon, death, page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, five of cups, eight of cups. Hmm. Ace of Wands, yeah, Three of Swords. Yeah, it's interesting, Virgo, because I see you chasing an idea from the past that you had. Um, it's like there's something in your past that's changing. Uh, like you said to yourself, oh, that's just a thought or something that could happen. This could never happen to me. Um, it will never be. But that's changing around. Because your mindset is changing. It's not about what's in, like, it's not about maybe later. It's about now. So I feel like you take a risk on something or open yourself up to something, Virgo. And it's like the fears that you had don't matter. Like, they don't, you're like, Oh, well, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very risky, but also, but it's not risky, like bad. You're just taking a risk. Okay. Um, but it doesn't seem like a risk to me as much as you're like, I'm just doing it. I'm going to do it because I need something new or I'm doing it because I want to feel something new or I want to expand. And it really works out very well. And you're very happy. I need to say that you find love there. And this doesn't necessarily mean a relationship and maybe. It's like you find happiness in what you find. How beautiful, right? Yeah, in April, you're weird <laughs> in the way where you're not really adamant about holding on to things. So you may be throwing things away, giving things away, donating things. Um, it's almost a way of purging yourself emotionally. You're like, I took a risk on this. Why not take a risk on other stuff? So it really feels like the spring clean, spring cleaning type of energy is really diving into you right now. And that's a good thing. So, yeah, it's weird. You're not in the mindset of keeping things, right? You're so open, Virgo, in April that what feels good, you're leaning towards what doesn't just doesn't. And um, you're excited about your new journey. 
And you're very adamant about it, very focused on the happiness that you found. You don't want to lose that. I see some background noise for you. I feel like this is people having something to say. Somebody in your life has something to say about what it is that you're doing. And I feel like it's because they would never, but this isn't their life. Um, they would never do that. They, w- they cannot understand how you're so motivated. They cannot understand how you're so happy. They don't get it. And that's fine. It's not for them. <laughs> okay. But I do see that being there. Do, lo- do not let that deter you. That energy will always be there. Just keep remembering that you're happy with your decisions. So you will follow up on the consequences of whatever they may be. Um, there's so much excitement about the future and walking away. Simultaneously, you're healing something that was deep inside you. This could be codependency issues. This could be childhood trauma. It's like you're healing something within you by making these changes and opening yourself up loosening yourself up like it's a part of your karma that you're healing fantastic right um yeah and because you're walking away from things because you're letting things go because you're releasing um things are changing good luck fate is falling into your lap so good Good job on that, Virgo. All right, let's get in the some more. Well, not much about work. to me to drop some chords. <laughs> okay. All right, that's an interesting row. Um, it has something to do with motivations, so I'll sit that there because I just I got the I got the feeling. Okay, so let's start with your money and career. Mm, You've been kind of hopeless. This is much, very much that feeling of I'm going to go to work. I'm going to do my job. Um, I wish things were different. Um, Or being kind of lost in the routine not being as excited anymore things like that and I feel like something changes that in your life it's like you following your heart you making a decision you doing something out of the new kind of renews that um but I feel like this is gonna sound weird it makes traveling hard if this is a person it makes being away from them hard It makes something hard, Um, but it's okay. I feel like you're okay with it because you're doing something that you love, but it makes things a little bit more difficult for you. Um, You're not going to stop what you're doing. So I feel like whatever was in your head that usually stopped you is not there because you're just so happy yeah (laughs) look what came out the lovers you're just so happy it doesn't matter 
<laughs> it, do- it doesn't matter. Um, and I feel like work gets a little bit better because of the new situation. Interesting. Interesting. Um, You speak your mind. You make a decision in April. There's a big decision here. We speak and we're speaking on it. Um, And it changes your life. It definitely changes your life. Um, Sorry if you hear that noise in the background. My cat has a TV. <laughs> Do not judge me. Uh, <laughs> and it's on uh, bird videos on YouTube. And sometimes the commercials come on. I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that. But if you hear that, I apologize. Okay, anyway, Virgo, back into it. So you make a decision that really changes your life. Um, I feel like you have to figure out how to keep it going um like how it could be beneficial to both sides or how it can work I feel like it's more how it's going to work out um I feel like there's back talk from someone about it not being a good idea but you're so happy that it doesn't matter (laughs) so that's the that part I feel like we talked about that twice so that's confirmation Let's do love and then we'll go into um, fire energy. So you're exploring something, a part of you, a desire that you have, a want, taking a risk in a way. Um, I feel like it's something that you either kept secret or you didn't open up about, you didn't want to explore, but that's changing. So now you're doing that at one point in your life. Now you're doing it. Doesn't matter. You know, your day is set. That's what I'm going to say. Um, because you've let your guard down, it allows something new to happen for you. And... I feel like what you were fighting against, that happiness uh, and giving yourself reasons why you couldn't be happy and things like that, uh, that's out the door at this point. It's gone. Um, Interesting, because this person is now just a part of your life. Like, you're like... (laughs) what I didn't want to happen has happened and now I'm not going to fight it. Okay. Mm. (laughs) Once you've experienced something like this or this experience that you're going to have, Virgo, you don't want to let it go and you worry about what would happen if something happened where you had to or you couldn't have it anymore? That's not on your mind at all. I don't see it. Um, you're not keeping anything a secret anymore. It's like you're very open about what you want to do, what you're going to do, and... Mm, interesting so there's two sides to this remember I said there was like a it's like a split off in this energy um it's like you know exactly what it is that you want to do okay you don't want to keep it a secret um but it might be a good idea to keep it a secret depending on what it is versus you just 
<laughs> balls to the wall, focus down, doing it, you know, um, like it's your only focus. It's the only thing you think about. That's what it is that you're doing. They feel like there's a hindrance there, like a pause, like a realistic pause that happens where you're like, maybe I should think about this. Maybe I should wait. Maybe I should do this. But after that, I feel like you're not happy living in that like you once were. And you just don't continue with that energy. It just doesn't inspire you anymore. So you're just not doing it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what spirit's message is for passion. I'm telling you, going towards your dream and your desire, Virgo, this is where you are right now. I'm doing this, this shoulder thing because that is what Virgo is about at the moment, okay? You're following your desires. You know what you want. You know what you desire. And that's what you're going for. There's a block. Yep, that's another thing too. So there's going to be a block. And it's going to feel like you can't get past it. But you know what you want. And you know what you want to do. So you make it happen for yourself. And emotional growth opening up of your heart chakra compassion love caring finding a person finding your happiness and all that happens when you get past your own blocks or other people's people cannot control you virgo if you decide you want to do something you're doing it okay and this is what i'm seeing here it's like you have enough drive and passion about what it is that you want to do right now that nothing can stop you and it ends up being a joy for you okay <laughs> all right so i love you virgo um i will talk to you later and thank you for being patient <laughs> bye bye